Hi there, welcome to Hello Rose City. I'm Lacey Evans. Thanks for joining us today. Did you happen to catch the Portland Trailblazers game last night? If so, you may have seen this big hairy guy roaming the stands. He was exchanging high fives with fans. At one point, he wandered down onto the floor, caught a bit of the game. Maybe he played some defense. So who is this new furry friend? Well, folks, the hunt for Bigfoot has come to an end. <laughs> Joining us now is the Portland Trailblazers new mascot, Douglas Fur, <laughs> along with Blaze the Trail Cat and Todd Bosma, Director of Game Operations. Welcome. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here, as, as you can tell. Yes, and thank you, Doug, for making your local TV debut right here on Hello Rose City. He's very excited. <laughs> He's going to take all of the things. He wants to remember this moment forever. Yeah, I feel free. Okay. Wander around. Oh, he sheds a little bit. All right. Told you. What was it like um, in the Moda Center last night for the big reveal? Uh, well, first of all, it was Bigfoot night, so we had a lot of fun with it. We, we were able to be a little bit uniquely Portland, keep Portland weird, so to speak. So we leaned into the Bigfoot moment and we partnered with the North America Bigfoot Center based out in Boring, Oregon. They brought a little, little museum in and, you know, we did this fun little series. <laughs> yes, no, that's for later, Douglas, that's for later. Uh, so know, we did this I'm fun sorry. little series series with, with a renowned Bigfoot hunter and part-time funny man, Ian Carmel, uh, and he was helping us find Bigfoot, and so I think as the game went along, you could feel the anticipation sort of build, and then once Douglas showed up, <laughs> he's, I'm afraid we won't be able to get him out of the spotlight anymore. Is he house trained? Well, we're still learning. We're okay. still learning. <laughs> we're still learning. Bla how, Blaze, how do you feel about this? Oh, you're good? Blaze, Blaze is good with yeah, it? Blaze is super excited, you know. Uh, the one thing that Blaze has always been looking for, lots of friends. Blazer fans all over the place are Blaze's biggest friends. Uh, but he needed something a little bit extra. So, and if you're looking for something extra, I mean, look at Douglas Fur. that is certainly extra. So, Blaze and Douglas will become best friends. They're fast becoming even uh, closer friends than I think anyone is comfortable with at the moment. Uh, but so we're just excited for Douglas and for Blaze to work alongside each other to help cheer on the Trailblazers. Um, so you, the Blazers did have a Bigfoot mascot for a little bit back in the 80s. You Correct. Are you two related? So it's long distance. I mean, you know, Bigfoots, there's a lot that we don't know about Bigfoots at the moment. So we're trying to trace the lineage a little bit. Yes, <laughs> creeping into the shadows, so to speak. But you're right, back in the 80s, the Trailblazers did have a Bigfoot mascot, uh, and it was very popular. And then as Bigfoots have been known to do, they went into hiding. So we were able to find Douglas again. Where have you been hiding all these years? What have you been up to? What has he been doing? Well, you How's know, he been spending his time? Well, he spends a lot of time up in Forest Park, uh, so he spends some time up there. So, and you know, Bigfoots are very shy. They don't like to tell everybody exactly where where they are, what they've been doing. So he likes to keep it on the down low a little <laughs> bit. So Forest Park has been running around, but now you'll be able to find him at the Moda Center. Uh, he doesn't seem shy to me. No. Um, you know, what are some of his, not shy to you either, right? No. no. Um, what are some of his character traits? Because, you know, I did see him pour popcorn all over a Knicks fan. Line. Well, yeah, so that yeah, that's going to happen. You know, <laughs> if you wear non-trailblazer gear inside the Moda Center at a trailblazer game, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, as you can tell, very curious, very very curious. Sure. This is a whole new world for Douglas Fur, so he's out here just trying to explore and learn as much as he can. He's all about having fun, just like his best buddy Blaze, and of course cheering on the Trailblazers and meeting all the Blazer fans all over the state. So where are some other places that you might meet Doug aside from Moda Center? Well, so uh, obviously Forest Park, that's where he likes to hang out a good bit. You'll see him at the Oregon Zoo. We're gonna have countless of other different appearances throughout the course of the summer and through the rest of the season as well. So you'll see uh, Blaze and Douglas Fur at all over the place. We're trying to get him. He's been in hiding for far too long. And you can, of course, see him online. You know, you can, he's, he's found this new technology, <laughs> Twitter, so you can find him at Dougie Fur. That's with two Gs. At Dougie Fur, Fur is his Twitter handle. And then we have at Blaze Rip City, too. So, you know, Douglas has found this new technology with Twitter. He's going to try to educate Blaze a little bit more because he's like the screenager of the group a little bit <laughs> and is now going to help us out. And so you'll see them online a lot, too. Uh, how did the players take it last night? You know, I think uh, <laughs> it's always fun because you can tell that they're always watching what happens during the timeouts a little bit, but they have a job to do right, during the sure. course of the game. <laughs> so I think um, when they might have said, oh, well, it's Bigfoot night, so it makes sense that there is, 
a Bigfoot <laughs> big walking around. around. <laughs> so when we get to our game on Friday against the Celtics and Douglas Spurs, you know, still around, and then they'll start to be like, oh yeah, this is this is our new guy. So <laughs> anything else to help uh, build up the atmosphere and the energy and entertainment inside the Moda Center, they're going to be all about. Yeah, and only a handful of games left, actually, home games left. Yeah, only a few home games left in the regular <laughs> season. We're still making that push to get into the play-in game or the playoffs. You know, what's great about the Western Conference, it's so wide open this year. While we've lost a couple games in a row, we're still right there and still well within striking distance to get into the postseason. And then, of course, uh, there is no off season per se for the Trailblazers because during the summer is where we can really open up and do a lot more things out in the community because we don't have those games to uh, take up our night, so to speak. Thank you, Blaze. I feel safer with there you, you here. <laughs> All right. If people want to learn more. Oh, thank you, Doug. Oh, thank you. If people want to learn more about Dougie, uh, where can they go? You can go to trailblazers.com slash mascots. You can check out the trailblazers.com rip city tab. And like we talked about the social media at Dougie Fur at Blaze Rip City, but trailblazers.com slash Matt Scotts is your space to be. Find out all things Blaze, Blaze the Trail Cat, and Douglas Fur. All right, thank you all for being here. Thanks, Doug.